All right, we are here at Team One Toyota of Gadsden Rainbow City with a very special guest, and I'm gonna let this young lady introduce herself at this time. I'm Brittany Arnold, Finance Manager. Brittany, how are you doing today? I'm great. <laughs> doing really good. Beautiful weather out here, perfect time to do these interviews. Uh, take us back, I always like to start these interviews out, like where you grew up and what life was like for you growing up, and where was that at? I grew up in Glencoe, Alabama, uh, born and raised. Uh, grew up playing sports, played golf my whole life, and uh, graduated with a golf scholarship. Uh, then became, got in the car business <laughs> somehow. So, so right out of high school, you started in the car business? I didn't. I uh, was actually a pharmacy technician for a long time, from my, when I was 19 to about 26. And when I was 26, I started in the car business here. Gotcha. Now let's rewind the clock. When you grew up playing sports, did you play multiple sports or you mainly got into golf? Uh, when I was younger, I played everything, softball, basketball, golf. Um, but then when it got more serious in the high school, I just stuck with golf. <laughs> gotcha. So you probably spent a lot of days at Briarmead Golf Oh course. yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that's probably your home course right there. Yeah, it was. It was our home course. But growing up playing sports, man, what were some of the things that you were taught back then that kind of helped you in your day-to-day -day life even over in today? Oh man, um, I, I love to uh, actually put golf and the car business a lot um, in the same category. Um, you know, when you hit a bad shot on the golf course, you got to kind of shrug it off, let it go, and move on to the next shot. It's kind of the same same way here. Absolutely. Just take it one day at a time. That's right, because it ain't always going to be perfect. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> and uh, I've seen golfers before that'll make one bad shot, and that bad shot will turn into a bad round in a, in a bad tournament, and it's over. It's so a, it's the same thing here, mm -hmm. right? Mentality, yeah. Mentality is everything. That's right. You went over, and where did you play college golf at? Shorter University. How was that experience for you? It was a very incredible experience. It was, um, you know, I got to meet a lot of very different people from different countries. Um, just and just the different environment between you know just going different from high school to you know college and you know the workouts and just the different mentality that you have to step up your game and as far as a collegiate sport um, it's 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 crazy really you still play into this day oh yeah all the time nice <laughs> awesome. well if I'm not here <laughs> gotcha gotcha uh, when you got out of school and you started working um, what were some of those early jobs you had well, <clears throat> my first job when I came back from Shorter, um, like I said, I was a pharmacy technician at CVS. Oh, so that was after? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. That was ahead. right after. Um, and then uh, after working there for a couple years, I went to work at Gadsden Regional as a pharmacy tech. And I had goals to go to college to be a nurse. And turns out I was meant to be here. That's right. <laughs> In the car business. I've been here six years now. What was it that, that <clears throat> kind of led you into that? And then two-part question, what led you into the car business? And then what was it about the car business that kind of captured you, kept you here? It's, it was a complete accident <laughs> that I worked here. Um, I was trying to get a job with insurance. Mm -hmm. And when I looked online one day, uh, it said Team One Toyota for insurance. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's close to home. Let's go check it out. Because I didn't like my hours at the hospital. And I come here and it was a three day hiring process for sales. And I went, sales? <laughs> I want to sell cars? And they started talking about the money and, you know, what the hours are like. And I was like, well, that sounds pretty nice. And, and then they, they hired me and I was shocked that they would hire a woman salesperson, I guess, because it was all men at that time. And yeah. next thing I know, it's six years later and I'm, Still here. Now I'm in finance. <laughs> now you're in finance. Yeah. But hey, starting as a sales position, though, what did you learn about the business from a sales position? Um, that had to teach you a lot about the business right off the hop. Oh, yeah. It's a grind. Yeah. It's a daily grind. You know, what you put in it is what you get out of it. Um, I always knew I wanted to be really successful in whatever I did, whether it be, you know, if I went in the medical field or if I, you know, became a successful business person or whatever. Um, I always strive to be the best at what I could be, you know, right. with playing golf. Um, I always wanted to be number one, so I just kind of take that into my adult life and try to be the best I can in the car business. That's you know, right. Be number one. So um, 
that's really kind of how I take away from it. Um, you know, just try to be the best you can be at anything you do. Sales is not easy, but it's rewarding. If you put the work in, you'll get the work back. That's one thing I like about sales, and especially when you got a good product like Toyota to sell, uh, that obviously makes for, makes your job a little bit easier. Yes, uh, you know, I've always, I've never been really shy. I've always uh, been able to talk to people, and um, starting out in sales, I was just that lovely little blonde-headed girl out selling <laughs> cars, so, um, you know, it was really easy to connect with people, and, um, I, I don't know, it was just a lot of fun. I just, I enjoyed it. Um, this place here is a family. It's, uh, you know, financially changed my life. Um, I never thought that, you know, me and my family have, you know, gotten to, you know, you know, new houses and, you know, my husband has a nice boat, <laughs> you know, we drive nice vehicles. That's and, good. Um, you know, we also help, you know, other people in the process. Um, this place has been a huge, uh, it's a huge family here. That's I good. love everybody here. They're my brothers and sisters and like dads and granddads here, so. Hey, you know as well as I know, it's not like that in every place. No, it's <laughs> not. It's really who you work for and who you work with can change everything. I, you know, I've been at jobs that I can't stand, but this place, uh, it has my heart <laughs> for sure. I love it. Now, what got you over into the finance side? Was it something you seen, the opportunity came about, or what, what led into that? Well, yeah, I'm always striving to get better, um, and it was a, you know, a promotion to a management position. So I started in sales, did that for four years, and now I've done finance a little over two. Um, so it was just a next step, you know, in the, on my little totem pole to get, you know, better in, you know, knowledge-wise and, you know, just succeed, just keep succeeding. What have you learned about the car business from that side of it? Because that's a whole different side of it. I know you've learned a ton, <laughs> but what some of the things like the general public may not know exactly what you do. What 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 have you learned from that side of the car business? Oof. And you may know you may say something that may help someone who's looking to purchase a car. Um, there's. I, I will say this: uh, your finance managers are not out to get you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're definitely out to help you, um, for sure. You know, try to. I, pr I promise, we're out trying to help you the best that we can. Right. Um, help get you the best rates. Help you financially with your buying decisions. Um, I'm constantly trying to learn different ways to help people financially, as far as uh, in their car buying experience, and different ways to help them. Uh, you know, keep. You know, a lot of people like to trade a lot, and different ways to help them trade up every couple years, and. Um, it's all really about saving money and helping you in the long run. And I want you to keep coming back and seeing me because I don't plan on going anywhere. <laughs> That's right. No doubt. This is my home. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't make no much sense for you to be out after people if, because if you guys don't sell cars, you won't be in business. No, definitely not. <laughs> you know, and this is my home, like my hometown. And right. um, I know a lot of people, you know, from working here and, you know, growing up here and, um, you know, my kids. We're going to go to school here, um, so it's just kind of, you know, I definitely wouldn't want, you definitely wouldn't want bad blood in your hometown, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, you don't want to burn your candle. No, no, so definitely not. No. A um, couple more questions before we get out of here. Growing up here in Etowah County like I did, um, it's a special place. People from outside the area don't know how it is. I hear some people complain, we don't have a lot to do, this, that, and other. Very few places has what we have here and can leave your door unlocked. You know, in certain areas of the county, some, certain areas of the county you can't, certain areas like where you live, where I live, a lot of people live, you can. But what is it about growing up here in Etowah County that makes it special? I just love the small town feel. Um, I've graduated with 67 students in my class at Glencoe, and I know, you know, I, I got to know every one of them. I grew up with them from kindergarten, and now a lot of girls that I went to school with, their kids go to the same school my kids go to. Um, and they're the same age and, you know, we all know each other and we know each other's families and, you know, it's, it's just nice knowing that, you know, where you, where you grow your roots at, you know, everybody else is kind of doing the same thing and um, it's nice to know that, you know, it's, there's good people too. You know, you know a lot of good people and, you know, we're actually, I don't know, it's just nice knowing everybody and everybody's family and their grandmamas and, um, you know, and their kids. That's right. So it's just. It's not, I don't, there's not anybody that like I don't know. Right. So, um, 
uh, I hope my kids get to go through something like that too. That's I couldn't imagine going to a school where I didn't know everybody there. I like graduate <laughs> with 500 kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> There's some high schools in this state. It's like, like Auburn. Yeah, Hoover. I know. I just, I couldn't yeah. imagine having. They got like over 3,000 students. Yeah, and... I'd be like at graduation though, and who's that? <laughs> you know, it, it definitely wasn't like that at Glencoe for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree with you on that. Before I let you go, you've, you obviously love Toyota as a brand. You, you love working at this place at Team One Toyota, Gadsden, Rainbow City. But what is it about this place? If someone was out there just looking to purchase a car, a couple of guarantees you can give them. If you guys come here, you're gonna get this service, this, that, and other. What would you say in your words? Why would somebody come here to this particular location? Uh, something that I used to say when I was selling cars is you're definitely going to get, you're going to get the family discount. And you'll get the family VIP experience. You know, like everybody always wants to be treated like, you know, like your daddy owns it or, you know, like you work here yourself. That's right. You know, you're going to get, you're going to get a, um, a top notch experience here because we really do care about everybody here. Right. I can't speak for other dealerships because I've never worked at another dealership. I wouldn't want to. Um, because I know that we're really great people here, and Toyota is the best brand that you can buy. Absolutely. Um, and that helps, <laughs> you know. Obviously, yes. Um, I just know you're going to get treated like family here, for sure. Yeah, there ain't no doubt about that. No. Like I said, when I was, you know, when I we signed up to do these testimonials, I'm like, I'm living proof. I've got two of them I purchased from this location, so I absolutely believe in the product and what you guys do here. And, Hey, I appreciate you sitting in with us. Uh, yeah. Didn't want to keep you all day. You're probably a busy woman around here. I know you, you've got, <laughs> I see people walking in and out, during, even during the interview. So I'll let you get back to work, but thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your time to talk about your experience here. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.